guys checks is here again so we are here to talk about this juicy lawsuit <laughs> that is trending on the internet like it is within my belly because a lot of things are coming up that we do not know before now okay you know there's this common saying that if you want to hide information from a black man hide it in black and white is now making sense to me because there are so many information on paper that we do not know many people have been asking about this lawsuit that has been trending all over the internet may suing judy austin 100 million for adultery for damages <laughs> and many people have been asking does it hold water is it visible is it visible is it ah does the law support it a lot of questions has been flying okay now we have answers to your deeper understanding of what has happened i'm going to be reading that publication paragraph by paragraph and breaking it down to you guys so many people are filled with confusion in fact some people have reached out to me they do not understand what this lawsuit is about they do not understand why an african man who they say is in our culture to marry multiple women is being sued or taken to court for marrying a second wife so let me dive right into breaking it down into tiny little molecules for you to understand better so the first paragraph says for the avoidance of doubts may you Eldoche filed a divorce petition against you she also filed against judy as a party cited and she's asking for 100 million naira in damages against judy for adultery with her husband make no mistakes about it you and judy are not husband and wife and cannot be so until you and me are divorced. It is a combination of delusion and absurdity <laughs> for the two I to call themselves trouble. husband and wife yet. Interesting. Now, in the Matrimonial Causes Act, which is the law that governs marriage, divorce, child custody, maintenance of spouses, and all of that, Marriage is defined as the union between two persons, excluding any other, excluding every other person. Now, this law, this legislation does not support polygamy, does not endorse, does not recognize polygamy. I'm going to come to the cultural law aspect, okay? But I'm talking about statutes, statute really. Polygamy is not recognized by our laws. Now, aside from the Matrimonial Causes Act, the criminal code, which is like the law that governs crime in the southern part of Nigeria, also prohibits polygamy. It categorizes it as a crime. In fact, let me read out that section to you. So section 370 of the criminal code says that anybody who, having a husband or a wife living, marries somebody else, and of course, that marriage, the second marriage is void, meaning it does not exist according to law, okay? That person is guilty of a felony and is liable to imprisonment of seven years. Now, you guys, Nigeria as a country is a very dynamic and peculiar country. We have statutes, this kind of laws regulating us. We also have customary laws regulating us, which many times are even in sharp conflict with these statutory laws and again in some other parts of the country we have the sharia laws which governs mostly the islamic state so there are several laws clashing here and there and if, and if you are not careful you're going to get them all mixed up now aside from bigamy which i just read about and which stipulates that whoever is guilty of bigamy is guilty of a felony and is liable to seven years imprisonment aside from that law there is another law that backs 100% what May is doing. Section 31 of the Matrimonial Causes Act provides that the party to a marriage can claim damages for adultery if such an act is not condoned. So there are two different legs here. If your spouse commits adultery and you condone it, you don't see anything wrong in it, you cannot sue for damages. But if you do not accept that adultery, if you have rejected it, just as May has, you can sue that person that's committed adultery with your husband for damages. And that is what the law says. It is legally backed. There 
is a reason why we follow certain people on this pace and there's a reason why we are jumping at some kind of gist as well on this pace so most times we are not just doing it before the fun of it even though this one they sweet me somehow for belly like <laughs> but then the main aim of following up on this is because we are learning a lot like a whole lot this video is opening our eyes to certain things we're beginning to know our position, our boundaries, our limits, and our rights as humans. Very, very important. So thank you, Neze, for this video, this holistic explanation surrounding this whole thing. Like I said earlier in my intro, if you have anything contrary, please feel free to drop on the comment section. Let's continue learning from there, okay? And until next time, guys, I remain checks. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.